Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man, and what we have here is a Nelco, and it's a model A38. And a Nelco, of course, becomes a screw and a screw and a registered uh, a logo that comes off. And back in the day, they would put, uh, I'd say they, I did it myself, everybody would put whatever name of their dealership was. You'd take the Nelco off, you put Dressmaker on, Dressmaster, dialing stuff, so... Uh, if they came in without labels, you put Nelco on them. So these were what we call open label machines. They come from Japan. They're cast iron. They have brass gears in them, chrome, uh, fractional horsepower motors, very well made. They're very surprisingly good machines, and you can get them for next to nothing. They're everywhere. They made millions of these, and uh, the Japanese shipped them over here to the dealers, and they uh, sold them to folks for, you know, $200, $250. Uh, the dealers had probably 50 in them, so they were real profitable machines. The Japanese subsidized their uh, manufacturing then to, uh, you know, kind of undercut, undercut Singer's market over here. That's what they did back in the day. It's called product dumping. They did that, and this was a little machine they sent over here, and uh, the consumer made out because it was an awesome machine compared to what was over here at the time. The Singer's especially when they went to the plastic gears and the touch and sews. This thing hit in the 70s and was wildly popular. And uh, this customer brought in for service. She was curious if it would be. Uh, you know, a good machine for her because she wanted to sew on some uh, robes. I guess I got a choir robe thing going on at the school, and she's got a lot of work to do, and she wants something that's heavy duty, which this is. She wants it to be fast, and you tell me if you call this one fast. I'd call that fast. It's a side load 15 class. Now, a 15-class uh, industrial is a side load. All your high-speed machines are side loads. Your uh, drop-in bobbins are usually slower machines, uh, like the uh, poster machines, and then the new uh, household machines, the drop-in bobbins, they're not like the old uh, 201s and such like that. They're not a high-speed rotary. But this is a oscillating hook. It's a side load, same oscillating hook you find at Bernina. They almost interchange in a lot of the models earlier. But uh, it's a good system good uh, tension it's got a, got a drop feed so you can do freehand uh, motion uh, monogramming embroidery whatever it's got the uh, patch and darner button on top up here so you can push it to release it takes all the pressure off so you can flee, free float all the way down for heavy and then halfway for normal sewing it's got a standard 15 class bobbin winder it's got a real good clutch on the side a real good fraction horsepower motor it's got a light and uh, it's just a real good little machine. If you can find one of these that says Nelco on it, look for over here where it says Made in Japan. If it's just Made in Japan, now you got something. It's going to have a brass gear up in here. Some of the newer ones, uh, even some of the Kenmore's, uh, would put a, a plastic gear in there. And, of course, I keep the brass ones in stock to replace the plastic ones because they will break. And then what you have then is a real nice straight stitch machine. It will not zigzag. But if, if it doesn't concern you whether it does or not, that's not a problem. But get one of these. You want to take the two screws off the top and check the brass gears right in the center here. If you see that brass gear, you know you got a real good setup. Made Japan. It's a Nelco A38. Good little high speed machine. It'll fly. Get under there, it'll sew it.